Okay, today we're going to talk about deleting in batches. The purpose of deleting in batches is to control to control the transaction log file. So every time you do a delete, insert, update, it actually uh, SQL actually has to write to the transaction log first. Once the transaction is completed, then it can write to the MDF file. So in this case, or in this scenario, we have six million records. Well, six million records is a lot to delete, especially in production. So let's say if you want to delete half of that, so let's say you want to delete 3 million records, you would do delete from my table where um, start date is between last year and this year. What's going to happen is it's going to sit there and write to the transaction log and let's say it's going to grow very big and if you have little space, then it's going to overflow that space and your delete is going to crash. So here we have a table called a lot of data. Okay, so when I run a lot of data, we get 6 million records. But before I move forward with that, I want to just give you a tip of this squiggly line. SQL is saying, I don't know what a lot of data table is. That's because the IntelliSense is not updated yet. So to update that, you just click on Edit, IntelliSense, Refresh Local Cache, and it's gone. Okay, so let's get back to deleting the records. So in this case, I'm just gonna delete everything that I have. So let's uh, start with the while, one is equal to one. So we're gonna enter a loop, and we're gonna begin, delete, top I'm going to delete in blocks of 5,000 from a lot of data and then if at row count row count is equal to 0 then break and then get out. So what's happening is we're going to enter a loop where 1 is equal to 1. That means it's always true. We're going to delete the top 5,000 rows from the table, a lot of data. Then it's going to spit out a record count. So the record count is, let's say, 5,000. It's going to go back in the loop and delete another 5,000. If the record is 0, meaning there's nothing else to delete, we're going to get out of the, the, the loop. So let's give this a try. So delete, or execute, I'm sorry. So remember, 6 million rows is a lot to delete, right? So it may take some time. Um, so here we have 5,000 rows affected, 5,000 rows affected. So it's going through each loop. So when it does a loop, it gets out, and it just continues to go on and on and on. So here I have my log file. So after all that log, as you can see, we have 392 megabytes. And this is being controlled by using the, the batch delete. If I didn't do this in a batch, this 392 megabytes would have been around two gigs by now. And there you have it, zero rows. I hope you find this video informational and helpful. Uh, if you like it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for watching.